In this video we'll be looking at question 2 from exercises 4.2 in new QMaths 12a. Question 2 asks us to use systematic sampling to choose 6 plastic office chair mats from a production run of 500, starting from the 407th chair mat. Just rereading that question again, we're being asked to use systematic sampling to choose 6 plastic office chair mats from a production run of 500 and we're given a starting point of the 407th chair mat. Let's look at some notes that I've made from that question. The first thing we need to realise is that the question's asking us about systematic sampling. Systematic sampling is where we choose a sample by taking regular intervals from a list of numbers, or values or items. Here we'd be talking about the population of 500 office chair mats. Let's just make a note of that. We've got a total of 500 office chair mats. That's our population that we're going to select the sample from. We're asked to use systematic sampling, so we need to select from those 500 at regular intervals. To figure out what that interval is, we need to know how many we're going to choose. We're told in the question that we're going to choose six of the mats. So we need to figure out what the interval is so that we'll select six mats from 500 at a regular interval. Well, to figure out that interval, we're going to write that the interval is equal to the total of 500 mats divided by the number that we want to choose, which is 6. And if we go to our calculator, we'll find that that's approximately 83. So we want to choose every 83rd mat starting at chair mat 407. That's what we're told to start at in the question. So we're going to start with number 407. Then we want to move by the regular interval of 83. 407 plus 83 will give us 490. Then, again, the regular interval of 83. 490 plus 83 is equal to 573. Now the problem here is that that's greater than 500. That's greater than the population that we have. So what we need to do is loop back around and start again from the start of those uh, uh, the collection of office chair mats. So in terms of our collection, that's going to indicate that that's actually number 73, because we've gone 73 beyond the 500 that we actually have. So we'll cross that one out so we don't make the mistake. Then again, 73 plus our regular interval of 83 will give us 156. 156 plus 83 is going to be equal to 239. And finally, 239 plus 83 will be equal to 322. So to finish off and answer our question with a full sentence, we could say something like, using systematic sampling, we should choose chair mats number 407, 490, 73, 156, 239 and 322 checking that we have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 chair mats, like we were asked to find. So in this question, we've used systematic sampling, which we remember is choosing a sample using regular intervals in a list, to select 6 chair mats out of a total population of 500. Remember that we found the interval that we required to move along the list by dividing the total by the sample size, 500 divided by 6 giving us about 83. And then, Starting at chair mat 407, as indicated in the question, we just moved along the list by that regular interval size. The only little complication being when we move beyond the size of our population, we need to loop back to the start of our list. So there we have our systematic sample of six chair mats.